So I've just been to my dad's, but he wasn't there because his girlfriend Sandra kicked him out and he's living in a caravan at the moment. I'm just going to be there for him no matter what, just like he's been there for me. Even though that has been hard for him to be there for me, to be fair, because he has darts on a Wednesday and skittles on a Thursday. And the weekends are right off because he likes his me time. I needed the toilet, right? I was desperate because I'd had four pints down the keepers. Yeah. So I went in the bushes by the ladies' tennis club and some meddling old tar only goes and calls the police and said, I'm peeping on her. And I was aroused. I went aroused, just well endowed. Yeah. You can't shoot a man for being well endowed, care. Oh. Now they're pressing charges. Sandra's kicked me out. The darts team don't want to know. I went in the pub yesterday. They all turned their back on me. Even Alan. Even Alan? Well, I some bloody tatters care. Absolute tatters. I'm in this bloody caravan without a pot of piss in. It's just malicious lies. That's all it is. A jealous of what God gave me downstairs. Yeah. And now I got nothing left. You got me, Dad. Nothing left. I peeped once in 78 and I didn't like it. I didn't like it one slice. No. And I vowed myself to never peep again. Yeah. Well, tell a lie. I peeped just once more. Just to make sure I didn't like it. That was in 89 and I didn't like it that time neither. Mm. I've been on my milkman by trade care. Don't you think I've got better things to do? It's all right, Dad. The truth has to help. No, it don't care. The next thing you know, you'll get a call from the police who say they've got CCTV footage that absolutely nails you and your DNA all over a tennis racket cover. I'm sorry, Care, but it's an absolute stitch up. It's all right. I look after you, Dad. Oi! Ah, leave it, Care. Leave it. It's only Alan. Bloody Alan. Fucking little snake. So, basically, Slogs is going to have his date with Kaylee just before my date with her, which actually works in my favour, because he'll be setting the bar very, very low. And by the time I get there, I'll be like knight in shining armour, and she'll be like the damsel in distress, and she'll just come running into my arms. And if I have to, I will punch him, just to make sure Kaylee knows she's safe. But that'll be easy, because it'll be like punching a turkey. Or any other flightless bird. That's sweet, isn't it? That reminds me of Kaylee, because he looks so cute. <laughs> Oh, here he comes, slivering in, snake in the grass. Thing is with Kaylee, yeah, is that she's got to accept I'm damaged goods and we will have to take it slow, but time does heal even the most cruelest of hearts. I'm not saying I've got a cruel heart, but if she ain't willing to take me as I am, rather than the monster I've become, then she can literally just jog on back to the sea with all the other fish, because I don't care. God, you still haven't made your mind up. Jeez. It's just a date, mate. It's, that's all it is. You're not meeting the Queen. Me and Katie, we like Beauty and the Beast, yeah? And I'm like the Beast, cos the Beast has got massive trust issues with being fucked over massive in the past, yeah? And, and Slugs is like... Gaston. No, he's worse than Gaston. He's like Gaston's fat, horrible little sidekick that follows him around everywhere. What do you have? Sorry? What do you have for your supper? Oh. Uh, just steak and chips, I think. Oh, I love me steak, I do. <laughs> me I too. absolutely love, I love steak. Yeah. It's my favourite, actually. Then you better get back, or you'll miss yours. Miss, miss my what? Miss your supper. I don't have any supper. Does your mum not cook for you? What will you eat? Oh. I suppose I see what's left in the bin. Probably I'll just eat that. Would you like to stay for supper, Gary? Is that all right? Of course. Do stay for supper. All right, then, yeah. Can I give you a hand, Florence? No, I'm fine. The symptoms are on next. Ugly doogly. What's the tea tonight? No, what? 
For tea tonight. For tea? Yeah, what's for tea tonight? Well, too early to be thinking about tea. You only just have to hurry up lunch too. Yeah, but what will you cook, do you think? What the fuck is falafel? Oh, I just mushed up chickpeas. What chickpeas? Uh, peas that taste like shit, basically. Oh, how was fishing? Brilliant, but I am hanging out my ass today. Why, what happened? Oh, Jacob came. Yeah? Yeah. What's he like? He's great. Yeah, really? we got absolutely battered. Yeah, he loves a party. And on the way back, we just stood on the bridge over a dual carriageway and we are just pissing on cars. Oh, I want to piss on cars. Yeah. Oh, he has some amazing stories about the vicar as well. Like what? Oh, the vicar, right, was in the Christian boy band in the 80s. No way. Yeah, called The Nice Guys. You are joking me. Nope. The Nice Guys? Yeah. What would you do in the band? Lead singer. Lead singer? Yeah. And he had hair as well, apparently. You had hair? Yeah. Imagine that. I just can't imagine the vicar not being bold. Mm. Florence, that was just beautiful. Oh, really beautiful. Good. Glad you liked it. Mm. Mm. Not going to let you go hungry, you know, Kerry. Mm. Uh. I love tea talk. Yeah, Florence is just an absolute dream. I mean, it's a bit sad because her cat died recently. But I think me being here has just cheered her up tenfold. That was him, look. That's the cat. His name was Tudor, look. Feel the weight of that. Feel the weight of that, honestly. That's how fucking big he was. Ate himself into physical decay. Yeah, that's how I want to go. Yeah. Kerry gets very jealous whenever I talk about Tudor. So I just try not to mention him at all. So you see him. Jacob got wrecked again last night. Did he? Yeah, he's an absolute wreckhead. Shit. Just wandered off on his own. Came back with some homeless guy, trying to get me to take him back to my nan's to give him a bath. Oh, you know, they ended up having a fight later on, got kicked out of the fucking fishing club. He's a total liability. What, does a vicar know? No. He thinks he's on the straight and narrow. Well, you've got to tell the vicar. Well... Probably just making it up to get attention. Oh, is that so? Cos I just spoke to Florence and you've been having double dinners. Just like your bloody father. Go around, do your business, get up and go around the next town for a second. Nuffling for slops. Is that what you've been doing in the evenings, girl? Hmm? You told me you've, you've been running in the evenings, but that's not what you've been doing, is it? I know Kerry said I should tell the vicar about Jacob, but I just can't face it. I think the best thing I can do in this situation is just stay out of it. You know, it's, it's far bigger than what I can deal with. And the vicar is just so far in his own bloody dream world, he's dancing with a minotaur. On a cruise ship, heading straight for the nut. 
fuck's that? Oh, for fuck's sake. Fuck. Jacob! Sorry, mate, sorry. Sit down, mate. Let's get a kebab in it. No, you can't do it. This is a marketplace. Kebabs! What are you doing? That's a bin, mate. Oh, fucking hell. Hello? Hi, Vicar. Yeah, it's Curtin. Yeah, I, I, it's Jacob, really. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, that's like, he's been drinking, yeah. All right. Jacob. Hello. Jacob, it's all right. Yeah, Come yeah, on. yeah, I'm good. Come on, we're going to get you home. Yeah, yes, right. it's a yeah, difficult situation. I suppose I was in denial and I didn't realise I was doing more damage to my son than good. Don't be harsh on yourself, Phil. No, I, I feel like being harsh on myself. Sometimes it has to be bad to be good again, you know? My trousers are falling down. My trousers are falling down. That's all right. Yeah. No one's looking. Oh, dear. Thank you, Curtin. Thank you for being a friend to me and a friend to Jacob. Oh, it's a pleasure. That's what I do. And thank you for whatever it is you do. Because I still don't really know. Shall I get a kettle on? Yeah? Biscuits? Oh, yes, please. Yeah? Excuse us. Thank you. Come on, then. Let's get you inside. Out the rain. Anyone here lost a hearing aid? No? No one's going to claim it and go straight in the bin. I lost property. My policy is a 10 second rule. Right, in the bin it goes. If it's not claimed after 10 seconds, just dump it in there. Kerry's mum. What's she want? What have I done? Oh, fuck it, I'll answer anyway. Hello? Hello? You all right? Hello, can you hear me now? Well, you rang me. Yeah, what, what, what is it? Well, I just got a call from a policeman. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, shit. Why? Why? Oh, Martin. I said it was dodgy, didn't I? All right. Yeah, all right. Uh, I better go then. I better go then, Sue. No, I'm just saying I better go then. Yeah, the connection's bad. It's fine. OK. All right. Yeah, I'll let you go. All right. Hello? I can say I'm going to go. Oh, fuck it. I just... Fuck. Mine. Yeah, I said it. I said it from the start, it was dodgy. It just whiffed or dodgy. I bet. Oh, fuck's sake. Yeah? Hello? Yeah, you all right? Hello? Oh, right, uh. Yeah, fuck it. I got. I bet go and call the vicar. Can you give me two seconds, yeah? OK, Kerry, thanks for coming in. Um, just to confirm that you've been cautioned and are entitled to free legal advice, which you've declined, can I ask why? Because I ain't doing anything wrong. Can I also say, as my human right, you have not asked me if I want a glass of water, and I am legally entitled to that as well. OK, would you like a glass of water? No. But thank you for asking me. That is correct conduct. OK. So... We have evidence to suggest that your father, Martin Mucklow, has been involved in the transportation and storage of stolen goods from a factory in Malmesbury. And it's our belief that he's been using you to store them in a lockup rented out in your name. No, because they ain't stolen. They're being thrown away. It's like, you know, you know the tea rooms in town, where if they, like, cancel all their paninis in the day, they just put it in a bin bag 
and they put outside the shop for the homeless and foxes, and sometimes badgers get in there. Okay, Kerry, I need you to appreciate the, the, the significance of this situation, okay? Yeah, but also, have you ever seen the Raggy Dolls on CBBC? Yeah. Because that's very similar. It's like if the dolls, if they're not in full working order, like their arms and their legs and that, they should have all their limbs, and these don't have their limbs, and so they get thrown away into a thing. And that's very similar to the Hoovers, because the Hoovers are very much like the dolls, because they also want to find loving homes. Look, I know you're trying to protect your dad, but you have to tell us the truth. I am telling the truth. My dad's not a criminal. When I think of Kerry Mucklow, I think of someone who is very loyal and very, very stupid. So, more stupid than loyal. Sort of 70% stupid, 30% loyal, probably. Because she's very loyal, but extremely stupid. <laughs>